We got John joining. John's iPhone joined. How's it going, John? Good, man. How are you doing? Doing well. Doing well. We uh, we're just kind of hanging hanging out, waiting to see if somebody hops on, has something they want to go through. Um, right now I'm going through the the funnel builder, the the newest uh interface of the funnel builder, uh, using one of the templates one of the templates that's available under websites um so this should be available in your account as well um but they have like these link tree type templates set up in here and so i'm just kind of demonstrating what this could look like if you're a loan officer wanting to want to set wanting to set something like this up what yeah, are you working I, on man i uh pay a company to do nothing for my website and um, you're not talking about us are you no no, no. <laughs> i'm just fucking no i uh it is my personality no i pay a lead pause. john's a core client guy so just so you guys know uh, sorry just kidding uh, um, shit. yeah you guys will boot me out anyway soon um yeah. yeah man um and so i know you guys have some website stuff so i i did sign up with you guys but i need to move everything over i think I don't know if that's what this is what you're going to go over, but you know, yeah, I need some help with a couple of, of those things. Yeah. So what's it, where's your uh, website hosted at right now? Is it a WordPress site or is it, um, it so I have, yeah, this is where I get confused. So I use GoDaddy, but then lead pops built it out. Okay. Um, my guess is lead pop, like my guess is you're not going to be able to keep the lead pop site and you're not going to want to without okay. continuing to pay lead pops. Cause they're, cause like their forms, um, like even if you could take all the design elements of their site, their forms are like an integral part of that site experience. And those forms are all hosted and, and not something that can just be transferred over to somebody else. Um, Got it. Okay. So what would you then i mean it's not like my website really gets any traction yeah what what do you recommend then just have somebody build it out or just do like i only need really like these landing pages that you're i think you're going to go over those are really the only thing i mean they're just lead captures yeah yeah exactly um so i mean i like honestly i would i would probably start in here uh -huh. um so if i come in, so if you come in here you go to websites uh, and you create new website and we'll call this go to template library. Um, I mean, honestly, they have stuff like, I wouldn't worry too much about what they call it or what they say, because, like what they say it's a template for, because you're not going to use any of the content anyways. You really mm -hmm. just want to find a design that you like. Okay. Um, and then I would either a, pay somebody no more than like 500, a thousand bucks to do it. And somebody that has go high level experience um, <clears throat> or B uh, do it yourself and just chat, use chat GPT, like fucking crazy. Okay. Um, and yeah, just, I would just pick one of these, one of these and load it in there. But what do you pay? I mean, what do you pay with lead pops? Lead pops is what? Like 187 a month or something like that. Uh, it's a hundred bucks a month. Cause I have it 100. super, super stripped down. Uh -huh. Um, but I haven't really had any time, you know, or like when it comes to tech, I'm so bad at this. And so yeah. I am like, okay, well, I at least have a website up. That'll kind of be okay for a while. And now it's like what I'm spending, I'm basically burning a hundred bucks every month for nothing. So it's like, you know, and of course they want me to, you know, the rebel IQ or whatever, which is fine. I don't, whatever. But um, yeah. I'm not going to really do anything with that. So what's, like why am i why am i paying when i could just pay you know a super minuscule amount and get what i need done yeah yeah i mean it's it, it there is there is truth to that i mean like for a hundred bucks a month it's tough to like if i'm in your boat i'm probably just keeping it because that like it's going to be better it's going to be better than any website that you put together in here not to say that you can't build a website in here that's mm -hmm. better but is like when you you know at the point that you say i'm not techie i don't like uh, I would say for a hundred bucks a month, what, what I would be more focused on is linking those lead pops forms to your high level account so that you can make sure like, so that you can go out and you can promote that and you can try and drive traffic to the website. And you know, 
that when they, once we drive traffic to that and people go through there, that you're going to get the leads that come out of there and you can add them to different automations and follow up with them via text. You can send yourself a notification when you get somebody that comes through there. Um, like I, I honestly for a hundred bucks a month, like I wouldn't drop, I wouldn't drop lead pops hmm. personally, but that's, okay. uh, but that's me. Interesting. No, I, 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 from a man who's super techie to someone who's not, <laughs> I accept it. Um, yeah. awesome. I mean, I, I would, I like, honestly, and I've, I've talked to Andrew about this personally, like his lead form, like we still can't find, you know, the lead form that's on your wet, on your like lead gen site is not mm -hmm. as good as the lead forms that you find on lead pop sites. Like not, not as good. Like it, it now, whether yeah. or not that translates <laughs> to actually like dollars and, and, and conversion rates, I mean, it's hard to say because lead pops will never have me managing their ads for them. Right. And and yeah. my team managing ads for them. Um, but I would venture to say if we were to split test our management with our forms as they are right now, next to lead pops that we would see an increase in conversion rate. Um, their, their, their forms are just that good, that, that pretty. Um, and then, like you said, when it comes to a website, it's kind of just a placeholder until you're doing, doing something about it. Um, yeah. And so, uh, you know, putting that on your Google, my business profile, uh, putting a link to that in your automations, or your follow-up automations with us. So talking to Corey about, um, getting, you know, getting that set up so that, you know, you have a little bit of like, uh, credibility that you can share with them. Hey, check out my website here. If you have any questions or, you know, your, your, your people that are like, uh, your stay in touch or like ghosting you, those types of people, um, you know, try and pick up some extra traffic to the site there. Um, I would integrate it more with your ecosystem before I, I shut it off. Consider it like a, a gym membership that you just keep paying for. Cause you know, you should be doing something with it, but you're, you're not. That's another yeah, sore subject. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's everybody's sore subject. That's my sore uh, subject too. <laughs> uh, um, were they next hey, on the another... on the list of subscriptions to cancel going down the line? Uh, yeah, seriously. Yeah. Can I ask yeah. another question? I know there's other people here. I don't want to hog this call. No, um, of course. As, so I have this kind of idea about sending out like uh, like 12 week like video campaigns. Uh huh. What would you recommend for that? Because I don't know you know, do, can I hook a video through text through go high level? Or is that, you know, like, what would you, you know, adding a video, A, does it move the needle? Is it worth my time to do these? B, yeah, I want, you can add it through, you can add an extra step, you know, I, I, into our, our already follow-up steps kind of a thing. Yeah, I would what I would recommend with that a yes video makes everything better every time. So if the answer if the question is ever video or no video, the answer is always video. Um, and so I think it's a great idea. What I would recommend for your setup is uh, planning on distributing via email with a call to action via text to check their email. And here's why because okay. because uh, regular, like the regulatory hurdles with text are only getting greater and greater. Uh, they don't like links are getting flagged more than the average text with no links in it yeah. for spam. Um, and so while there might be a way to send it out and not get it flagged <laughs> as spam, um, you're, you're fighting a losing battle. Like at some point they, if they don't want something to be sent, it's not going to be sent. And so even if, you are able to get away with sending them like a YouTube link or something within the, the text message. And you could do that without getting flagged. Awesome. I just would also have my processes in place such that I'm sending it to them via email. It's nice. They can, you know, they can see it, they can access it on their phone if they want to. Um, but I'm not triggering any sort of uh, spam filters or anything through the carriers. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll do that and um, make some adjustments. I think that's a great, great idea. Can I, I can add a task in, um, you know, like sends an email immediately after sends a text, like, Hey, just sent you an email, check it out. Kind of a thing. Okay. 
Yeah. And I love that approach too. I mean, I think like email marketing is getting, is getting more valuable, which is interesting because if you would have looked at this, you know, five years ago, you would have said email marketing is dying and, and rise of the SMS. But now with the amount of, uh, like filtering and, and, you know, um, uh, do not call, like that, like regulatory intervention, basically that's taking place. Um, it's, yep. it's driving, uh, a lot more attention to email, uh, as a, as a way of getting, as, as a way of giving them like the long form content that you want to give them. And so again, you keep the text message relationship informal by saying, Hey, you know, Hey, it's, it's John with ABC mortgage, you know, haven't, haven't talked in a bit, but I just sent you a video and wanted to see if you could check it out and let me know your thoughts. Like that personal touch is so much, so much better than just sending them a link to a video and saying, Oh, yeah. Hey, here's some, here's a video I put together on this. Like, um, I just, I think that the one, two punch works better anyways. Cool, man. All right. Appreciate it. Oh yeah. My pleasure, John. Um, your uh did you talk to jeff at all about linking back up linking back up with him no actually i i haven't so man i was a client forever with them and and really jeff's awesome and i'm i was in my own way you know it was deals were falling off off the sky so why am i hosting these things but yeah no i need to get back with them because those classes are actually really killer and it's almost like the same like the go high level platform kind of a thing. So gosh, yeah. that's such a win if you're a loan officer. Well, that's our, so that's our collab. That's the collaboration that, that we're announcing that like is official as of yesterday. Um, now oh. hit my agent classes come with like, come with an empower LO account and all, and like you access everything from within an empower LO account. So Basically, if you wanted to add it um, for our for our clients that are core clients of core and for his clients that are clients of my agent classes, we will cross sell with no setup fee. So waived setup fee, I think it's three ninety seven a month, um, which you're already paying two hundred of that. So it'd be an additional one ninety seven a month, basically, to have access to um, to his like to all those classes, and it's inside your account you know like all the automations everything like are all inside the same empower LO account oh dude that that's killer yeah okay yes so um i yeah <laughs> talk to talk to Corey. talk i mean you can shoot me a message offline if it's if it's something you want to do um but like i said we can we can get that set up for you you'd be our first like uh cross like cross sell between them and like i said uh, extra 197 a month and uh and all all of that uh, i can't remember exactly how that works out but almost all that's going to go to almost all that's going to go to jeff and that's just part of, like part of our partnership um that we have set up so uh yeah yeah we're, we're so yeah you said it's kind of like yeah like a high level setup yeah he was using high level but he but okay. um obviously had a lot of a lot of features and stuff in there that he wasn't that weren't a part of his program and so now this is kind of a convergence uh, where any of his clients that are using the my agent classes, we're going to teach them how to use high level, you know, and and maximize it for other stuff as well. So, you know, kind of fitting into the vision. It sounds like that you're executing and implementing video, um, kind of making this you making high level like the centerpiece to your marketing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's there's no need to really have other other platforms. I don't think you, you know. I'm trying to dial in a, a closed client kind of campaign kind of mm -hmm. thing which you have but just for some older clients but you know i can build that one out in time no need to you know drop everything for that yeah yeah well let us keep us posted let us know what what kind of stuff you're deciding that you want to create for yourself and and why and um depending on like what it is and what our capacity is sometimes we'll just pick that up and and run with it and give you mm -hmm. the give you the result um, but either way, it's super valuable feedback for us. Um, cause that's, you know, that's a big part of what we want to be doing is creating content that's, that's valuable for you and, and stuff that you guys don't have to tweak all that much. Sweet. Uh, awesome, man. I appreciate it. Cool. John, thanks for hopping on. Great to hear from you, man. Um, awesome. Mike Rubin, Mike Rubin jumped on the call. I don't know if you're, yeah, I just saw you unmute yourself, man. How are you doing? Good, good. I, uh, I work in the same branch as Roy Burke, so I know the power of Empower. He actually told me to contact you, so I saw an email come through 
popped on and saw it's your name. <laughs> so I was like, sweet, I'll stick on here. Hell yeah. Yeah. I reckon I recognize the name for sure. I've seen seen you down there. Um yeah, cool. That yeah, we this is a weekly call that we run for um for high level specifically. So high level is the the software platform that Empower LO that we use um to help like do all the automated follow-up and the pipeline management and all that stuff. And it's got a ton of features that we don't use as part of our lead gen program. Yeah. Uh, and so this is like a separate thing that we do where um, we're trying to get loan officers, whether they're using our program or not, um, using high level and and maximizing all the different opportunities that exist in high level uh, as an as a platform related to manage your entire mortgage business or at least the marketing and communication side of it. Awesome. Well, uh, yeah, maybe I can get your email and email you privately. But Roy said. Um... I can have at it. I just need to talk to you about what markets are available to me. Right on, right on. Well, let me, uh, I'll throw it. Actually, Ari, Ari, Mike, somebody throw that in the chat. Um, just my personal email and we'll let Mike reach out. Cool. Um, cool. Yeah. Thanks for reaching out, man. Great. Great to hear from you. Yeah. I'll uh, shoot you an email here uh, shortly, but uh, that's all I did. I needed was the email right here. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Well, glad we could give that to you. Cool. Uh, all right. All right. Take care. I'm going to um, talk to you soon. Bye. John, uh, I'm going to go through what, what time is it right now? It's 1120. I'm going to spend a couple of minutes. I'm just going to go through like uh, a couple of these templates. I was already going, going down this path anyways. And so, um, you know, show you what's, what's available in here. Like I said, if you wanted to go this route, if it were me, just dead honest, and we already talked about this, but if it were me, I'm and I have lead pops for a hundred bucks a month, there's no way in hell I'm giving giving that up so that I can create a website over here and save a hundred bucks a month. I would just be I would be uh happy that I have it for that price point because I would imagine you can't get in at that price point anymore. Um, so I'd be happy that I have it at that price point, and then I would be um leveraging my website more in my marketing again using it almost like a gym membership that i know i should be i know i should be doing more with this and rather than canceling the gym membership i'm going to use it as kind of a, a what we call a forcing function um something that's going to kind of force my hand and 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 make me give attention to something that i wouldn't ordinarily give attention to so um that's my take i paid for a lead pop site uh when i was an lo in 2000 16 i believe was the last i had it um and and would still have it today um if i was so um cool uh but you do so the link tree thing too so this was where the path that i was kind of going down going down um the link tree thing i think is really cool nick hanneman nick hanneman's hopping in right now nick is a a core client maybe former core client current core client i'm not 100 sure sorry nick um, but Nick just hopped in. Nick, if you have anything, any anything in particular that you jumped on to talk about, feel free to speak up, man. The stage is is yours. We're just kind of going through uh some functionality of high level that uh I think is helpful. Um so again, going into here. So the idea here is you know, rather than visit our website, um this would this could potentially replace your website. So depending on depending on where you're marketing or how people are accessing your website, well, let, let me just put it this way. So the Google ad campaigns that we run, which um, I would argue give a really good, give us a really good idea of the uh, people that we should be trying to target because these are people that are searching for mortgage related information. So if if there's any like, demographic behavior type information that we can pull out of this group, I'm going to pull it out of this group because it's the closest thing to the like perfect group that we can get, right? It's people that are searching for mortgage related information, not home, not, not homes for sale, searching for how much house can I qualify for? How much down payment do I need? What, you know, what interest rate does it make sense to refi, right? These long tail searches. So this is a really good group, in my opinion, to model. Well, 90 to 94% of the traffic that all of our clients get, all of our clients across the country, no matter where they are, that they get through their site come from mobile traffic. Now, this is not a function of what happens everywhere on the internet. And I can show, I can illustrate that by telling you on the flip side of this, 
Empower and our traffic through our sites is about 60 to 70% desktop. Why? Because it's you guys, loan officers that are getting, that are doing the research and you're not doing it while you're on your phone. You're doing it while you're working, while you're at your desk, right? It's just part of your consumer behavior. So while there might be a lot of things that overlap between your persona and the persona of somebody that is searching for a home loan, one thing that does not overlap is where you're at when you're executing these searches. And so my point is, is if I'm a loan officer, I'm focusing way more on mobile experience than I am on desktop experience. I fall into the, I fell into the trap. I still fall into the trap of like the first time I look at a landing page, it's always desktop. Although even, even for our clients, for whatever reason, the first time I glanced at a landing page, first time I go to make a design design decision about a landing page, I do it with desktop and then I optimize for mobile afterwards. That's the wrong way to do it. That's the wrong way to do it for your buyers, for the people that are going to be uh, interacting with your website. You should be thinking about mobile first and then desktop use to fill in the gap because the majority of your traffic that is in market is going to be on their phone when they interact with your website. So um, that's why this link tree option is kind of a cool, like a cool idea. And John, I would even go as far as to say, maybe throw this together in addition to uh, the lead pop stuff and kind of test and see, I mean, it, like the cool thing about uh, high level is kind of a, a similar thing with lead pops or, or rebel IQ. I haven't been inside of their back end in a long time, but I know that when I was in inside the back end, that they had really good uh, data statistics. They, they showed you stats on how many people visited, how many people that visited that, that uh, form actually went through and, and filled it out. Um, well, same sort of thing exists in here. You can't see it because this doesn't have any traffic yet, but you can see unique visits versus opt-in. So you can kind of measure, okay, how effective is this at converting traffic into somebody that provides their information versus a lead pop site? Because that is what Rebel IQ, that, like, that is their claim to fame. That is what they are, um, you know, why they're kind of restricting and, and, and going outside of doing any sort of customizations or anything is because they're like, Hey, we know that this shit converts and that's what you want. You want your traffic to convert. Right? So if that's what they're, if that's what they're going to say, their value proposition is, which I agree with them. Um, then I think it only makes sense to, if, if you're considering another option, put it together, uh, and then evaluate, evaluate the data over a, a couple months time. Um, and maybe what you find is that you don't get enough visitors, um, to make it worth it. But again, I, I, I'm looking at this on, on the other side, if I'm a mortgage loan officer, I'm looking at that as a problem that I want to continuously work on solving, not something that I want to get rid of my membership because, uh, because I don't have enough traffic. I want to work on getting, getting more traffic through. So, um, that would be one, you know, one thing to consider with that. I think this link tree option is great for anybody that doesn't have lead pops. I think, or, or rebel IQ, I think that your minimum price point to get into rebel IQ is like 187 or 287 or something like that a month. Um, so if you don't have something like that and you do have high level, I think it's a great option. Um, uh, and I think that there's a lot that you can do with it just from the templates that they provide. Um, and these templates, by the way, uh, if you have, if you have a high level account, that was like a, a forever free high level account that you got through like Zale mortgage or one of those fucking pop-up bullshit marketing agencies. Um, <laughs> if you have if you have a high level account that was a result of one of those, you're probably not going to have access to some of these features that I'm talking about. Some of the like some of the labs labs features, right? Some of the the websites, the templates, and stuff like that. At the agency level, I can choose to make it so that nobody in my agency can access those templates. We don't do that because we want our loan officers to have as much uh, access to this as as they want to and will benefit from. Um, but we can do that, and so. If we're going through this stuff and you're finding that a lot of the stuff that we're talking about doesn't line up with what you see, odds are you you have restricted access uh, and you might have to pony up some money to pay for an actual like updated, up to date, uh, uh, high level instance. So, John, before we before we shut this down, you have anything else that we want to yeah. go over? One question um, yeah. on the websites like my non-marketing brain right so yeah. i have my 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 website that i use now i build these what can i use maybe this to test off of 
you get what I mean? So I, I built something through you guys, but then what? Kind of yeah. Thing. Yeah. So it, so look at it, look at uh, it as interchangeable pieces of a funnel. Okay. So what you like, if the bottom of the funnel is you and taking an application with you in the middle of the funnel is your website, whether it's a leap pops website or rebel IQ website, uh, I'm sorry if, 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 yeah, I keep messing that up. Rebel IQ I don't care. <laughs> um, is a rebel IQ site. The interchangeable piece is that, right? So we can swap out this link tree and that's the middle. That doesn't speak, that doesn't say anything to what your top of the funnel source is. And so that that is the piece that I was saying earlier. It might not even make sense to start working on this piece until you figure out driving traffic into the top of the funnel. And what does this look like? This looks like uh, posting on social media and posting often enough that when you plug your website, it's not weird and people go to it. It looks like your, you know, your YouTube content and making sure that you're putting links in the description in there trying to, you know, uh, submitting through, I think you, I think you subscribed through Yext with us, which is like a directory service. Um, or maybe you didn't, or, and, and I'm tripping, but we'll, we'll check that we can check that out. But, um, basically that like, it, uh, that is a directory service where if we put, take the URL of your website, it'll submit it to, you know, yellow pages and Yelp and all these different places. And those all, create backlink opportunities for you, which will increase the SEO, the relevance of your website as far as Google is concerned. Um, yeah. But all, all of that stuff is like the 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 top of the funnel. That's the, that's the piece that like makes the $100 a month that you're paying a gym membership right now is like, that's the piece that you still have to figure out. Got it. Okay, that that's fair. That makes sense. No. Okay, I'll play around with this one. I I'm like, in my mind, I have like using this to work with real estate agents or to market to real estate agents. Yeah. Your thought. Yeah, no, I think, I mean, so if you look at, um, I mean, what Jeff offers right now, Jeff offers like the, the actual landing page to, to like has a landing page inside of high level that, that realtors like register for his classes for. So that's a really good example, right? Of, of that, of that piece of it and, and using it to market to realtors. I don't think that you need websites or funnels necessarily uh, as a part of that. You just continue to lean on the email marketing or the email automation and the SMS automation and start putting out content that's worth distributing. And so whatever, whatever that medium is, I mean, video, I think is great. You mentioned video. I'm going to keep going back to video is like, if you can make a, if you can, you can make a 20 minute video every week, you can create enough content off of that 20 minute video to feed a machine for customers and for real estate agents. Um, and so, uh, I like, I would say start, start there. And then from there, yeah, we, you take different versions of that. You can then have the, you know, have uh, have the video turned into an email. And then you put that email into, you know, one of your email marketing campaigns that you're sending out me personally, when I'm, when I'm on top of our email marketing, which I haven't been, and, and we're in the middle of trying to hire a email marketing manager for this reason. Um, but we go, if I go over here, I mean, I'm constantly like, all I do is go in here and I'll duplicate my last campaign mm -hmm. clone. And then I'll go, I'll edit the content inside of it. So, all right, so we're go there. So now I can click on this. Now I can go in here. I can edit the content. It's really easy to come in here, change it. It's in the format, a nice pretty format that I'm down with sending every single time. My signature's in here, all that stuff. So really I'm just swapping out the content and then sending it is as easy as coming into here. Send, I can choose my smart list. So recipients, yep. I can either designate specific contacts. I can choose based on tags, or I can create a smart list inside of contacts based off of all my filters and then just select the smart list in here and send it out. And it, so when I do decide to send an email out to our database, it takes me 10 minutes. It takes me five, 10 minutes. And it's just making that decision to do that once or twice a week over time. 
that's gonna gonna make a big difference. And once you start doing that kind of stuff, then you see the benefit of having the plug to your to the link to your website, your your Rebel IQ website, having it everywhere. You have it in your signature. You have it when you send text messages out. It's it's it, but the activity at the top of the funnel has to draw has to be there in order for, order for the middle of the funnel to do anything for you. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yep, that's awesome. The the wheels are spinning. So Hell yeah. that's cool. Yeah. I need you to play around with it more. Awesome. Well, I hope to see you. Uh, hope to see you on here next week to talk more about it. Yeah, man. I got. I got. I got the email. Uh, finally, or not finally, but you know, it popped up because I've been meaning to go to all these. So it's, yeah, it's really beneficial. But you know, I'll forget, and then it's like two o'clock, and I'm like, dang it. So damn it. Um. So you're on the calendar event now. So you're getting like the actual calendar. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah I am. Okay. Cool. Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. All right. Well, uh, we'll see you next Tuesday. Then we're going to shut this down. Um, truthfully, cause I kind of got to pee and I don't have somebody else to sit in, uh, like I did last week with Jeff and, and Michael. So, um, but, uh, it was great, great having you on John. Great, great talking about this kind of stuff. This is exactly what we're looking for. So don't, uh, if it, if you feel uncomfortable hopping on and it's only you talking the whole time, please, please don't. Cause it's exactly what we need. Um, to drive engagement and drive drive uh, adoption of high level for for loan officers everywhere. So nice. uh, and awesome, that benefits man. all of us. Cool. Thanks, you. Oh yeah. yeah. Thank you, John. Bye. All right. Uh, anybody else that was watching this? There you have it. Uh, remember, you jump in, you raise your hand, and you get uh, undivided attention. At this point, we still just don't have the the volume of interaction on on here that I expect to have at some point. Um, and again, part of that has to do with how much or how little we are promoting it. And so um, we're going to do better of that going forward. But in the meantime, take advantage of us not being in that position and jump on yourself, raise your hand and get your questions answered like John did. Um, stay tuned for the weekly breakdown coming on Thursday. Otherwise, we'll see you next week on Tuesday for our Zoom room. Thanks for watching the replay. Thanks for being here. If you were here, we'll see you at the top.